Hey, what's up guys? It's Don and it's the middle of the night and I can't sleep. So you know what that means, right? That means I'm going to sit my belly that's full of leftover turkey and pumpkin pie and a few spirits uh, in my personal motion simulator and go pew 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 uh, while I play some Star Wars uh, Squadrons uh, because it got a big update today and I can't wait to see what it does for the game, especially if it gets rid of the blurry skybox. So as usual, before I start, um, I want to thank everybody who might have joined already or those who might join later uh, for coming by to check out what I do. Um, I am going to try to check chat here throughout the uh, throughout the thing. Um, so we will do that real quick before we get started here. There we go. And just see what you guys are talking about. So. Boom. There we go. Hey, Yakamuzo. Thank you for showing up again. And uh, yeah, I've been, uh, been gone for about four or five days. Uh, just needed to take a little break. And it looks like we got about six people watching. And you're probably going, dude, I don't want to watch your desktop. So um, you guys want to watch me play Squadrons and uh, see if I can... Uh, see if I can make all this work so all right let's get started uh, hey PRV thanks man I'm um, doing great Kilroy it's good to see you all right so let's get into some squadrons guys all right hold on I gotta flip around some stuff here and as usual I'm kind of letting you see what I'm doing here a little peek behind the curtain but no more Let's go back to the game capture. So um, with the updates, it looks like it is capturing a little bit better. Now, that is a weird trick that I'm doing um, in the fact that uh, I can't give the game focus. If I give the game focus, you guys get a stuttery mess of a capture like you've seen on my channel the last few times I've done this. If I don't give the game focus, it is clear and smooth. I don't get it. So um, there was a setting that I did not see that allows me to keep the audio on while the game has no focus and the game still works with no focus. So problem solved. All right, let's do this. Wait, I'm gonna recenter. There we go. All right, so I am just gonna jump right back into the story mode where I left off. So let's go. Make sure you guys are seeing everything. Yep, everything's looking good. All right, nobody's yelling and I don't have any audio. Pilot. Glasses are really weird with me. All right, we should be good to go. Awesome, it's actually gonna work tonight, guys. This is great. So, all right, um, I am at the point in the story where I have transitioned over to the Imperials, and uh, now I'm flying a TIE fighter here. And, man, I got to tell you, as I always do when I'm doing these streams, especially for those of you who have not received your G2 yet, this headset looks absolutely freaking lutely amazing. Okay, I mean, I see little details that I have never seen before in any of my other headsets, including my Pimax 8KX. So, all right, let's go ahead. You know, you guys are like, oh, shut up, dude. Every time we come to your stream, all you do is ooh and ah about the graphics. So, because I'm a graphics dude, I love graphics. There we go, there we go. Make sure I'm still working here. Okay, so we are in... So, all right, we've seen it. Let's go to the briefing. I guess I'll inspect a whole bunch of other stuff here. Where's the briefing? Exit. I like it. Uh, oh, there we go. There's the briefing. Agent Thorne may not have known the precise location of Project Starhawk, but... Their intel has pointed us in the right direction. Then we will proceed as planned. Now, oh, hey, lady. Hello. Captain, is this the new pilot? Yes. 
a valuable addition to the squadron, wouldn't you say? Indeed. Marvelous work securing Agent Thorn. You've exceeded your previous statistics by... Oh, forgive me. I'm so familiar with your profile that I forgot we haven't actually met. I'm LT-514, Imperial Intelligence. It's great to meet you, I'm dude. I'm eager to analyze your performance in the upcoming mission. Captain Carroll, shall we proceed with the brief? Mm-hmm. Let's do that. Agent Thorne's intel has paid off. We've learned that a convoy of New Republic engineers is traveling from Bosnian Crown. Man, I love holograms in VR. It's always such a cool effect. Tested territory of De Severo. According to our new information, the convoy will attempt to conceal its presence in a local debris field. Follow the convoy through the wreckage and allow them to jump to hyperspace. Okay. We will calculate all possible destinations along their trajectory to find Project Starhawk. You must not be detected. We cannot risk losing this convoy. Local Imperial. We got a trucking convoy. What? Oh, no. Nope. Sorry. Once the convoy is Wrong game. The debris, I'll save that for American Truck Simulator. Pointing us toward their hidden headquarters. Once we have their jump vector, return to the Overseer and prepare for immediate redeployment. All right, you heard the lady. Let's saddle up, guys. First, I'm going to talk more because I like story. Contacted the Imperial authorities at DeSevro. They're aware of the situation. You're certain he won't interfere. My records indicate that Captain Amos is trigger happy, to say the least. His fleet is already in ruins after initiating several. Ruins. Frankly, quite unnecessary. Captain Amos is enthusiastic. I'm hoping he's not a fool. The Empire can't afford to lose assets at this stage in the war. I agree wholeheartedly, Captain. Man, the modeling in this game is insanely good. Yes. My faith in you was not misplaced. Make sure it stays that way. Not Lone Echo good. Man, I can't wait for Lone Echo 2. I don't know. Wax about that for a second. That was like some of the best character modeling I've ever seen. Playing with Liv, and I mean, it was just great. Oh, sweet. Am I going to fly one of these? Nice. All right, let's do it. The TIE Reaper is a specialist model made for utility and squadron support. If the enemy sees one, they know they're in trouble. Okay, with yeah. Loadout, it's built to disable enemy fighters with ion lasers. It's pretty vicious. I've also equipped jamming tech to keep you off enemy radars. And tactical shields to protect allied ties. <laughs> okay, very good. So, real quick, um, I before we start, I'm going to jump back over to chat. Just if you guys could let me know, you know, because I forgot to ask in the beginning if my audio level my audio levels are okay. So, I want to make sure if anybody else, Kilroy, Mr. Bleach, 401. All right, cool. So, yeah, you guys just let me know. Um, Hopefully my audio levels are good. Um, I just want to make sure you can hear the game and me. So, all right. And let's make sure that the game doesn't have focus. That seems to be the trick. Oops, no. And let's go. All right, here we go. I guess this is what everybody came for. Not my blah, blah, blah and to watch some cutscenes. You guys want to see this chair go, woo, 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 and flip me all over the place. And let's see if we can jostle some of that leftover turkey and pumpkin pie that I ate way too late in the evening. Nice. Okay. Really tight cockpit. Oh, I feel it rumbling. And lost several destroyers by the look of it. At least his recklessness allows us to stay hidden. Stay together and keep your distance. The convoy can't know we're tracking them. Alright. Yes, sir. Avoid Titan detection. Will make it harder for the enemy to track you. Use it wisely. Let's do it. But don't boost your engines. It puts the entire 
Get in the debris field, folks. Got it. That's quite the convoy just to protect rebel engineers. Why not destroy them? Stop those gearheads from reaching their destination. <laughs> nice. Oh, God, this feels good. Now, I know what you guys are seeing on the screen is not the full capability of this motion simulator, and that's unfortunate because currently I am having to use the joystick emulation um, in Sim Racing Studio to make this happen. And huge shout out to the developers of Stim Race, uh, Sim Racing Studio for providing me a key for that and a uh, premium subscription so that I could do this for you guys. Okay. Slow down. Right. But um, there was some great news today um, that I saw on the Yaw VR blog in the fact that they have figured out how to get the telemetry output and we will be getting a full motion simulator profile in the Yaw VR engine. Um, which means that I will be able to actually turn on the yaw motion um, and use uh, motion compensation. And what that's going to do is that's actually, you, you guys would be seeing me whirling around as I'm turning, um, and I'm actually feeling Gs. Now, not like you would feel many Gs in space. Where, where's the... Oh, yeah. Come on. I'm working on it. Come on. Boost. Boost. Nice. Got it. Man, I even turned the graphics down a little bit um, to make sure that I was going to have a good stream for you guys tonight. And this is still nuts looking. Oh, smack. Oops. Stay focused. Stop that scatter convoy. Stay on target. Where's the missile? What? <laughs> Not as much as I am. What? Did I just say that out loud? Thank me later. Yep, thanks for the resupply. I don't know. At this point, I'm just flying around because I can't... Where's the damn missiles that I'm supposed to take out? Oh, I guess am I supposed to be taking my own ship out here? Feel it. The convoy is getting hammered. Well, maybe I'm. Oh, shit. Maybe I'm not supposed to be taking out my own ship. I thought I was supposed to be taking him out because he's like a traitor or something. Destroy the Tormentor's missiles. <sighs> but he's not shooting any missiles. God, 
this thing flies like a freaking tank. Well, I guess it is kind of like a space tank. Oh, God, that feels so good. Well, where's the missiles? I... It's not letting me target the missiles. Well, you know what? The funny thing is, is it's not letting me damn, like, target any freaking missiles. So, I, I don't know what to tell you, okay? It says I'm supposed to shoot them down, but it won't let me target them. There. All right. Maybe it's a glitch. All right. Let's go back to the checkpoint. All right. Let's actually pay attention this time. Like that. Well, you can't win them all, buddy. Now it's let me target the missiles at least. Yeah, so am I. You know, I, I thought it'd be fun. Thank God.
Disable the convoy ships with your ion lasers. We'll cover you. Man, this thing's got no boost. I need to reload. The ships are getting away. I like the transports. You want them? Excellent. Your eye on fire is working. Working on it. Get out, get out, get out. Excellent. I'm deploying Lambda shuttles to board them. No, what the? Oh, man. What the what? All right, that's all right. Take a little chat break here. See what you guys might be talking about. Make sure that everything's working good here. So, let's see, I'm back up here, and as I always do, I will let you guys see what I see. There we go. So, all right, um, looks like, hey, we got VR Essentials in here. What's going on, man? Reverb's coming in 30th of November. Finally, that's fantastic. Cyborg TV, got my G2 last week, but haven't tried this game with it. Cyborg, you need to try this game with it, buddy. If you've got a flight stick, or even if you don't, I don't care. It, it is awesome. Uh, Mr. Bleach, uh, Iron Maiden, I have this in my Steam cart right now using the autumn sale. That's a freaking excellent deal. Um, I'll be playing it with an HTC Vive Pro. You're going to love it. Um, use Sim Racing Studio software with a butt kicker. Okay, even the butt kicker is going to give you an awesome sense of immersion in this. Um, so highly recommend that. You know, if you can't get a butt kicker, guys, um, if you go back uh, and find my old plans for Battle Chair from like five years ago, find a Aura Interactor Vest. And just rip the transducer out of it because it gives you the little uh, it gives you the little amplifier and the transducer and it works great for a single seat. Um, Iron Maiden did the Vive Lens mod the other day. Yeah, I did that on my Cosmos Elite. It was awesome. Um, turned out a brand new headset. Yeah, I mean literally huge sweet spot. No more God rays. It is freaking great. Uh, do you think the yaw? It dot three da full motion. And I'm, I, I don't get what you're trying to say there. Um, let's see here. A nice toy, but I got rid of the wife a while ago, huh? Okay, you guys are just talking. No questions for me. So, um, no, Cyborg, I'm not using motion compensation right now. Um, th there is no telemetry data output in this. Uh, I could literally not limit the stick and I could just yaw and yaw and yaw, but motion compensation so far has been a bitch to get working with the G2 because of the Windows Mixed Reality uh, Steam VR plugin. So OVR, O-R-V-E-I-E and O-V-R-M-C, I've, I've tried all of them. And so far, the only way I can get motion compensation working at all with the yaw is with my Pimax because the Pi tool does some like wizardry shit. It's amazing. So, uh, but we do, uh, we did get confirmation today that we have full, um, support coming, um, in the, uh, in the all VR game engine, uh, because they have cracked the telemetry out. So pretty soon I'll be able to play this in my Pimax and, uh, I'll be able to do the simulated G's and the full y'all. It is going to be freaking awesome. So, all right, back to the game. Let's do it. So real quick. And, uh, Switch you guys back over to the game. There we go. All right. So, so far, really happy um, that I figured out how to give you guys at least a little bit better of a stream. I mean, I can't get better. You know, I'm still going to suck. Oh, cool. At least I don't have to do anything past this. I didn't want to have to do all that shit. See that you do. Yeah, Project Captain Star. Amos. Captain A-hole. Woo! 
God, I love spinning in this chair. And, you know, it, it, it may not look to you guys like the motion is very intense, it, but you'd be surprised at just the smallest amount of motion um, in the in VR correlating with your with your view. Wait, hold on. Tactical shield, portable shield generator. We should launch it. Okay. Um, let's see what's for. Wait, wait. There it is. All right, boys. Lock and load. We got X wings. That's right, I'm not supposed to actually shoot them. Shuttle team, prepare to board. Seize the data. Find out where these ships were headed. The boarding party has breached the transport. Stand by. Fine. I wash my hands of this, Captain Amos. Oh, the glory shall be mine alone. Yeah, you take it, buddy. Not many rebels left. Wipe them out, Titan. All right, let's do it. Get, get out. Get out. Do it. Enemy destroyed. Let's take out these rebel scum. I think they've locked on. Even though I prefer to be a rebel scum because I like flying an X-wing much better than this big old freaking space bus. God, this thing is not maneuverable. Yeah. <laughs> 
whoa! Oh my god, that was cool. <laughs> nice for the assist. Now let's blow this thing and go home. Could you get him off me? Tactical shield ought to help. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. You think? You're safe. And with that, the star fighters are gone. Woohoo! Of course they did. Really we'll finish off their fighters. Titan three, defend the shuttles. Mind your back. All right, there we go. There we go. Get in the battle. Get in the battle. Where's the shuttle? Working on it. I gotta get in range first. Have a shield. Hey, you have a shield. What? Oh, can I give him a shield? No. No, we did not. There, shield yourself. I've given you a shield. I have given you a shield. Come on, just get to the damn shuttle bay, guys. You're so close. Hell no, they can't. We got the big guns. Take it. Data is safely aboard the Overseer. Decrypting it now. Captain, the Tormentor is taking heavy fire. Its destruction is imminent. That's all. Titan, return to the Tormentor and cover its retreat. What? I mean, he was kind of a douche. Call off your squadron. I don't need their help. They yeah, you do. You will not survive this assault, Captain Amos. Watch me. There we go. Front shields. Captain Carroll, that frigate is coming apart. The tormentor is too close. Amos, evasive maneuvers now. What are you talking about? Oh, this ain't gonna be good, buddy. But, but I won. But you didn't win. That thing just like it's gonna warp core breach, yo. 
Nice. Oh, wow, that looks cool. At least we have what we came for. <laughs> that was awesome. Tizen, we've recovered the sector coordinates for the Starhawk dockyards, but the rest of the data banks are empty. Engineers must have wiped the rest when Captain Amos blew our cover. They were so close. That idiot Amos deserves to go down with his shit. Knowing the sector at least narrows our search. Linden can't hide forever. Titan, eliminate the convoy. Let Linden know we're coming for him. Pew, 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 pew. Nice. Sweet. I love that mission. That mission was awesome. So, all right, man, I'm going to jump back over here and uh, check chat and kind of get a little uh, check on how long we've been streaming tonight. So it looks like uh, we're going on about 40 minutes, so I'll keep going. So, all right, let's see what you guys are talking about here. And uh, as I always do, there we go. We'll kind of bring you into my world here, show you what I'm seeing. You know, this was so much harder back in the day before you could just flip over to uh, either, you know, Oculus Dash or in Steam VR and be able to do this. Um, I, I really do need to get the, uh, the, the thing. Oh, God, I'm oh, sorry. It's been a long night. Uh, there's a way I can put the chat inside the headset with me. Um, all right. Uses Gear VR lenses. Yeah, no, yeah, Iron Maiden for sure. I, I have a whole video on my channel of how I did that in the, uh, the, the Cosmos Elite. So if you guys haven't seen that, check it out. Um, let's see. Yeah, we already talked about that. Um, saw y'all VR team doing a video showing them testing Star Wars Quadrant with delivery. Yeah, telemetry is going to make the, the, all the difference in the world, Cyborg. Uh, then I'm going to be able to literally fly this bitch, um, you know, and it's going to feel really, really good. Because I really, you know, uh, when I first got the y'all, the one thing that I was like, oh man, I really, really want to play in this is Elite Dangerous, but it also doesn't have, I guess, full telemetry out. And I don't know, it just doesn't feel as good as some of the uh, terrestrial flight sims. So, uh, all right, VR Essentials, have a good night, man. Um, let's, uh, let's see, take it easy. Uh, I get nausea if I don't use yaw motion with my simulator these days and fly to roller coaster games. Yeah, unfortunately, I mean, fortunately, I don't ever get nausea. I mean, nausea is like, I've been doing this for over 20 years, and some of the headsets that I started out with, man, they gave you VR legs real quick. Um, and yeah, Polyus, uh, Aurelia. Yeah, th this is fun as hell, man. Th this is like the ultimate in VR immersion. I mean, you know, I guess the only thing that would make it better, and I should have done this, maybe I'll do it for the next video. And I got to thank B Haptics for sending me that full tax suit. Um, I, I, I really need to do a full video on it, but man, I'm going to suit up in the tax suit and get more rumble and more vibration all over my body. I think that's going to be like really cool. Um, Let's see here. I'll be playing this later today after going to bed and waking up. Yeah, I should probably be going to bed. It's like 1.15 in the morning, but it's only 1.15 in the morning. It's a weekend, and I've had a few, and I'm up. So um, let's see here. What settings am I using? I read that even with people with 3080 are having issues playing this. You know, and, and that's weird because I am actually getting really good frame rates. It does slow down like the last mission that I did in the debris fields. It kind of slowed down a little bit. Uh, but other than that, everything is smooth as butter. So I, I will uh, jump back in, uh, Michael, and I will uh, show... I'll show you my settings in the game and I'll show you my Steam VR settings here because I've had a lot of people asking me about that. And yes, I am using the Yaw Pro. Um, so Steam VR settings, um, you can see I, I am down to the 50% because of the bug. Uh, so there is a, a bug in Steam VR that if I was to go to 100% here, it's going to throw my resolution, you know, a little bit out of whack. Uh, so basically, uh, by putting this down to 50%, that's gonna, you know, put it to where it should be at a hundred percent is what I've read. And then that will solve a lot of the, uh, the performance issues that you're having in a lot of games with your G2. 
Um, so other than that, I mean, yeah, everything is the same. I've got everything shut off in Steam. Now, in the game itself, um, let's make sure I don't give the game focus. All right, there we go. In the game itself, um, let's see here. Hold on, I gotta get through a cutscene, and then I'll show you my settings here in the game. Oh, wait, I just realized. I forgot. Hold on. I forgot to put you guys back. Now, obviously, you're still seeing the game, but I forgot to put it back to the game view, which you guys get a better look at it. So stand by. There we go. There we go. Uh, hey, buddy. What's up? All right, cool. I'm back with the Alliance. Yes. All right. And that's, yes. All right. Cool. What's up, little guy? Sweet. Hey, there you are. Was looking for you back at the dockyards. Well, I had stuff to do. I to hang out with a bunch of engineers. Well, you know, sometimes they need to be friends. They had, they need friends. You should hang out with the engineers. No survivors. Sounds like they had someone on the inside at Hosni and Prime. Give them all the details. As you can imagine, everyone at the dockyard is pretty spooked. I got a Pazak game planned for them later to help boost morale. Gotta do our part, right? Oh, yeah. No, I mean, that's awesome, man, hey, that you want to do that. Between us, something's up. Something bigger than missing engineers. Ardo ain't talking, and the boss has been shut up in the briefing room all day. I feel like he'd tell us if it was just about the lost engineers. Nah. It's just something else. Hey, look, as long as they don't bring in the bobs, I think we're cool. Some kind of unfinished business. Like a dark secret he left behind when he skipped out on the Empire. Or not. <laughs> what would I know, huh? Well, Whatever it is, it's got to be something he can't fix with a giant battleship. Why don't you head up to the briefing room? The boss might open up to you. Okay, I, I think I will. After I comment on how cool your character model looked, so, man, I mean, the the shiny on the droids, the I'm gonna ooh and ah about the graphics for a minute, the reflections on the window here, uh, it just it just all looks freaking great. I mean, absolutely great. All right, let's go to the briefing. You're right, Lyndon. The contacts verified your suspicions. It's her. I knew it could only be Teresa Carroll. Her mark is all over these attacks. We know her style. You do realize there's only one reason she would attack Hosni and Prime and the engineering convoy. She's searching for Project Starhawk. That's why I've already taken steps to stop her. Before she can find the Nadiri dockyards. Before anyone else gets hurt. Lyndon. What have you done? Relax, Ardo. All I did was send Teresa a message. One she can't ignore. An old protege of mine, Teresa Carroll, is leading the Empire's search for Project Starhawk. She won't stop until it's destroyed. So I've initiated a plan. I sent a message that we know was intercepted by an Imperial listening post hidden near Esselus. What was the message? Bait for Teresa. And now that the Imperial Post has served its purpose, we're ready for part two. If we destroy that listening post, Teresa will think we have something to hide and follow that message to the letter. Vanguard, I want you to take Y-Wings with heavy ordnance to that nice. place and bomb it to oblivion. A Corvette will join you to draw Imperial fire. Gunny will support and resupply our bombers. These are your targets. We've identified the receivers along the hull as weaker areas. Destroy them all. Additionally, destroy the thermal regulation systems along the exterior trench and any dishes atop the listening post. If you pull this off, we'll rob the Empire of a valuable asset, and then Teresa will fall right into our trap. All right, cool. 
Let's see anybody else? Let's talk to Lyndon. Teresa Carroll was my second in command at Fostar Haven. She was my protege. And she's gone from a Coruscant street orphan to captaining her own Star Destroyer. The Empire gave her everything, and she'll do anything to defend it. That's why I'm keeping certain details quiet. With Teresa in the game, any leak is a risk. Just trust me a little longer. Okay. I, I, you know, so far you hadn't stirred me wrong. Almost ready. Okay, anybody else? Talk to Grace. I have to say, the commander's plan is quite clever. All this secrecy and subterfuge, it's almost imperial. I know the New Republic strives to be better than the Empire, but you must admit their tactics are effective. Not that we should adopt them, of course, but this is war. Sometimes you have to think like your enemy in order to defeat them. War. What is it good for? He's using his tactical brilliance for our side. Let's focus on the mission. Okay. You know, I gotta say, I love the familiarity of the, the flow of all of this. It's so Wing Commander. It's like, do a mission, come back, you're in the hangar, go to the briefing, talk to a few people, go back on another mission. It, it, I don't know. It, it definitely is uh, making me nostalgic for the old days of playing like Wing Commander 3 and Wing Commander 4. So, I always loved the movie story games. When James talks about Carol... You can feel it, right? He must have cared about her greatly to feel such pain. It looks like my I oldest daughter. That's so that funny. The Empire sent Teresa after Javes. This feels personal. You must both be hurting. And hurt can so easily turn to hate. Hate that cannot be healed has no place in the galaxy. And hate leads if to suffering. And no, option, I'm not going to go there. So be it. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's do it, girl. All right, let's get up there. Let's get up there in the air. Y wings are built to carry bombs and other heavy explosives. It makes them slower, but they pack a punch against large targets. And Great, ships. another tank. Flying another space bus here. Oops. What the? What the what? Come on now. There we go. I think after all this time I'd know my buttons. Oh well. I just mash them. You know. Sometimes. Nice. Oh, I like this cockpit. Very tight. I love the little reflections in the oh look I'm pointing and you oh I see yeah, that that shows you I'm getting immersed but I, I love the little reflections in the uh, oh holy elite dangerous this looks great whoa Okay, so performance here, though, is rough, guys. Okay, I don't know what you're seeing on your end, but now I'm getting some stutter in the headset. Even set at the little bit lower settings. So, now, obviously, there is a shit ton going on in this scene. Uh, I mean, this is insane. But... Luckily, I, I'm not very horribly susceptible to lower frame rates. It, as long as it doesn't like start going complete still frame on me, I'm I'm usually pretty fine to work through it. Let's focus on this mission and worry about the details of the trap later. God, this is beautiful. You 
Maybe the Empire built this listening post just to help them find the Starhawk? This one, perhaps, but it isn't the last listening post eavesdropping on the galaxy. Well, they do seem hell-bent on finding us. I bet the Empire cannot stand that we're building a new ship out of their old ones. There's our listening post. I'll jam Imperial sensors on approach. I love it. They'll never see us coming. Yep, let's do it. Let's make them regret eavesdropping on the new Republic, huh? Time to kick the tires and light the fires, guys. And just like that, we're hidden from Imperial sensors. Let's go. Follow me, Five. We'll lead the bombing run. Grace and I will take care of station defenses and starfighter patrols. Here we go. Five, give them everything you got. Good, you're almost there. On my mark, it's bombs away. What? It's a raid. Alert type patrols. Nicely done. You're a natural five. Now to bombard the rest of the receivers. Let's do it. Get the broadcast system running. We need to call reinforcements. Uh oh, quick. Take down those dishes before they can make that distress call. No. I'm taking the bombs. You guys take the dishes. Just a little bit longer. Just hold your jets. I got this. I got this. Thank you. Good timing. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. Oh shit, I thought I could skim it. Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. Ah, I was gonna like pull it tight right down that beam. Eh, that didn't work out because this thing literally has no maneuverability. Alright, let's do it. This time I'll pay attention. Working on it. Sorry, so bombs are fired straight down from your starfighter. Okay, that's yeah, that's what I thought. Too late taking out the dishes. 
Oh wait, I need a resupply, guys. I need some bombs, yo. I just noticed that says Ace Azamine. Uh, that's awesome. That is a throwback to um, Rebel or yeah, Rebel Alliance. I'm coming. Hold on. I just had like a almost two in the morning brain fart here. Let's get some fire on that. All right, we're coming to the trench. We're coming. This thing is really slow. Working on it. Come on, stay low, stay low. Here we go, here we go. Eyes on ties. You're in the clear. Plant a couple of bombs right across your hull. Did you? That 
Resupply. Shit. Well, I'm trying. I'm working. I'm going. It's out of ring. And bring it in now. I'm in. In this thing? Go, go, go! No! <laughs> oh, man. 
Okay, hold on. Let's see where it checkpoints me. Alright, cool. Just on the escape. I heard that from all the way out here. Get moving, bud. Quick, the bed is closing. I'm trying. Go, go, go. This thing is like super slow. Oh god. Get it. Pretty neat, isn't it? Woohoo! Victory! Nice. Right as I'm our, our starting to overheat. Ah. That's what I'm talking about. Got me chromium. No efficiency, no enduring. Eh, well, you know, but I completed the mission. So, all right, guys, I think I'm going to jump back over and talk to you guys for a minute. And as we're probably approaching 2 a.m., I think it might be time for me to finally go get some sleep so all right let's see what you guys are talking about so all right looks like we got a lot of chat going on here and got about 22 people watching currently so thank you to everyone who's tuned in tonight so all right um, oh that's right wait hold on i did i said i was going to show you guys my settings so um i'm probably gonna have to get through a little more cutscene here because that's uh, somebody did ask me to see my settings. Okay, so no, maybe maybe you're not. There we go. Right, five and six. Which really need to figure out what my buttons are here. You know, I should, I mean, God forbid EA had programmed this correctly where I could just like, you know, move through the damn options. Um, here, let's switch my keyboard. Maybe I won't. Hold on. This is where you get to see me have one of those stupid moments. Okay, so how can I get back to the main menu? Because I was going to quit here anyway. <sighs> yes, I, I get that. There's five. Okay, stand by. What the hell are they considering to be button six? Okay, I've pressed every freaking button on my HOTAS and none of them are registering as button six. What the crap? Uh, well, at least, okay, at least there, we got it. There we go, options. All right, so at least now we've got it. So, okay, so I'm assuming what you guys want to see is the VR settings in the video here. So VR settings, I've got all that crud turned off. Uh, so video, um, I'm running, uh, let's see here, V-Sync is on, uh, resolution scale 100%. I do have all of the anti-lazing either turned off or turned down. That's, you know, in, in a higher resolution headset like this, I don't really feel the need for it. Um, and it just really, it takes a performance hit. 
Um, and I, you know, I have been playing the game on ultra or custom, which is a mix of ultra and high. Uh, but, uh, for tonight, I just went ahead and set it to high. Um, but it left all the VR stuff at ultra. So you can see, I've been playing this at graphics, VR quality, ultra resolution scale, VR 101, uh, texture filtering, high lighting quality, high Shadow quality high, uh, screen face shadows on, effects quality is high, volumetric quality high, post process, so all that's high. I've got the anti aliasing is TAA high, ambient medium occlusion, um, texture filtering and VR is ultra, ultra, ultra. So see, all my VR stuff is still set to ultra, even though I told it to set the game to high. And I don't know, man. I, you know, I've been hearing this stuff too about people with like 3080s and 3090s and 3070s having performance issues. Now, I did just get a new PC. Uh, maybe it's processor. I don't know. It, this one has an, an i9 10900K. Um, I do have it um, uh, overclocked right now. I think it's running five gigs on all cores. Um, and then I've got 32 gigs of RAM on an MSI Pro motherboard with a two seven uh, uh, an RTX uh, 2070 Super. So, you know, if people are having problems with this in... Um, if people are having problems with this with the higher end 30 series card, maybe it's something specific to that card because as you guys can see, or at least I hope you saw better tonight, um, it wasn't as jerky from your end. Other than the asteroid field at the very end there, I wasn't having any performance issues at all. I mean, everything was, you know, looking smooth. It was running great. So, um, okay. So let's see here. All right. So let's see here. Da, da, da. Um, okay, so that's where we were. Um, okay, Michael. Um, another question. Do you have the Yaw Pro? Yeah, okay, that's where I was. Okay, thank you for showing the settings. No problem. Uh, really help when I set it up with my G2 next week. Uh, and, you know, if you need to, guys, I'm all, my DMs are always open. I'm always glad to help. D just DM me over on Facebook or Twitter or, you know, send me an email. Uh, send me a message. I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just always glad to help. Um, let's see, you guys are just talking. I can only imagine seeing that valve helped develop these really good lenses for the G2. Uh, they must be wanting to implement it. You know that, yeah, that's true because these lenses are actually, um, these are not the, the same lenses that are in the index. These are actually a higher end lens than what, there we go. You guys can see what I'm seeing now. Um, these are a little bit higher end lens than what is in the index currently. Um, so, all right. So let's see. Uh, Michael, um, oh, thank you. Do uh, did not forget. Was uh, waiting for you to show me. Okay, sorry, man. It take me. You know, guys. Once again, it's Friday. It's the end of a holiday. It's the weekend. You, some of you may know what that means. So, uh, you know, it's, uh, uh, yeah, VR gamer dudes, uh, just having fun and flying tonight. Let's put it that way. Flying high. All right. Um, let's see. Um, and, uh, I agree. They may come with a small revision using the new lenses, which will fix really bad glare. Yes, there is no, I mean, I'm not really getting a hell of a lot of glare in these lenses at all. And I'm extremely sensitive to that kind of stuff so all right i'm gonna give you one more camera shot because i thought you guys might think this is kind of cool um so let's uh hi how you doing coming off the green screen i, I reset up my studio now i've got my little uh got my little driving uh set up here so um all right guys that is gonna do it for me tonight thank you so much for coming by and checking out my stream this evening um as i've been doing these weird middle of the night rambling streams and, and you guys seem to be liking them so i'm gonna keep doing them because i'm a night owl i'm always up it's always late but uh you know guys Thank you so much. Um, it, it, I know my content was starting to kind of be lax and, uh, I, I, you know, I, I was just after six years of doing this, I was getting a little burnt out I was getting a little tired on making all these polished videos and trying to be all perfect all the freaking time. And, 
So, you know, now you get me. This is me. Five years in. No longer VR gamer, dude. I'm just Don. And, uh, you know, and, and, I, and I hope you like it. If you don't, let me know. You know, if you want me to go back to doing weird polished videos where I think, you know, hi, I'm Don, VR gamer. <laughs> you know, um, I'm more than happy to do that. It just takes a hell of a lot of time. And right now with no job and, and looking and you know, trying to trying to make ends meet for the kids and the wife and Christmas and all that. I just don't have a lot of time to do those. So I'm, I'm thinking this is just the better path right now. Um, and, you know, uh, on that sad note, thank you for all of you guys who have been throwing little donations that that has helped me tremendously. Uh, I can't even tell you how much that means. So anyway, all right, I'm not going to cry in my beer at the end of this stream. So I love you guys. Thank you for watching. If this was your first time coming by, please smash subscribe, ring the bell. You guys know the drill. Help me get to that magical 10,000. We, we've got 1,500 to go, guys. 1,500 subscribers. If we get to 10,000, I will throw a VR party the likes of which you've never seen. So, anyway, I will see you guys next time. Love you. Good night.